anyway, every time I come here, I just am so confused. Uh, I have made videos about this. Uh, so we have a unconformity, so this has been eroded. So we've established that this is the Red Bluff sand. So it's a roughly two to five million year old sandstone. And as you can see, it is massive as uh, so the iron is coming down into the formation uh, and uh, being like a sedimentation so like a cement in the formation because the gray and the white is where it's been bleached so before the basalt was laid which is rich in iron this was bleached and it turned gray and white so that means that the iron sedimentation uh, has been leached out and it's been put back in but we had this angular if uh, unconformity or conformity depends so we have a few scenarios this could be a fault line in which there has been movement on one side which has either pushed this side up or this side down the reason why that is is because up here we also have a cut off where the basalt is so uh, that is something that both of these formations have they have the cut off there so that indicates that this formation is more than likely older so it is fill basalt basalt fill and it's an angle like that if it wasn't just an erosional feature in which these were put on top then that could be the case so this formation this fill would be older so it's just basalt with clay and the actual infill it feels like silt so yeah silt so it is not the sand and it is not the clay of the basalt, so it's just totally different. So we have a few. This is how you try to interpret geological formations in the field. So it could be that this is a deposit that's been eroded and you don't take into account this material that's on top of this darker material. It looks like it is the basalt material that's just fallen down uh, when they've excavated the actual site. So, uh, my scenario is that this is an older, older material. Obviously, the basalt has been weathered, it's been rounded, and it also has erosional features in which the interior of the basalt is quite fresh. But the surface is quite eroded and uh, weathered. So that's rounded. So that would probably be, I don't know, colluvium. Alluvium. It could be a river deposit. could be just from the side of a hill. Uh, but there are no high hills. So I'm probably going to say just a... Probably both. Colluvium along with river deposits. So the river deposited the silt and the basalts come from the side of a hill. So we so that makes this probably older than five million years. But that doesn't the basalt should be younger because the volcanoes around here are about Ooh, two to three million years old and if that's five million years old two to five then that should be older this one should be the youngest deposit that's all two million years old so uh, this really just boggles me so in, in all we have this deposit here but we don't see it down below where we have the sandstone. Actually, no, we do. So this deposit here could be older, in which the sandstone's been deposited against it, and so has the basalt 
in which the basalt flow has stopped right there. And this basalt's probably coming from an older formation that probably hasn't been mapped, or it could be just the earliest of the uh, Western Volcanics. Anyway, this goes all the way down there. Thank you and goodbye.